Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let me know down below, who do you love? Introduced to the world as the Prince of Rockefeller Records, Young Steph had the voice, confidence, and was connected to major industry hitters. Even with this formula, he has yet to really peak. There's definitely been a lot of talk about him over the years in the industry, and it's been a crazy ride. So what has the young prince been up to? Let's find out. Born Stefan Goldsboro on December 7th, 1988 in Vineland, New Jersey. Young Steph has been crafting his skills since the age of eight when he was touring with his father, who was in a gospel group. Young Steph won talent shows, including the McDonald's Apollo Kids competition in Philadelphia, which took him to the Apollo in New York to perform. I've been watching you for so After winning the Apollo, he got a call that his demo landed in the hands of Rockefeller record execs Jay-Z and Dame Dash. He was signed at the age of 12 and hasn't looked back since. As the youngest member of The Rock, he learned a lot about the business early on, especially the politics that takes place behind the scenes. While signed with The Rock, his father wrote a song called Can I Holla, which made the Like Mike soundtrack and featured Little Bow Wow. In 2004, they also released a song named Catch a Shorty, an ROC anthem. With that score, he started working with Kanye West on his album called Here and Now. Although his album was eventually shelved, they had young Steph out and about touring, visiting schools, and making TV appearances. He performed his single Catch a Shorty on Maury. and had cameos with Freeway and also P.D. Crap. In 2005, as The Rock started to split, he was forced to make a decision to either go with Jay-Z or Dame Dash in order to continue his musical career. Instead of picking a side, he wanted to move on and do his own thing. After the notorious Rockefeller departure, a year later, Steph was introduced to music producer Rich Harrison. After auditioning for Rich, he then signed to Rich Craft through Atlantic Records. As a resurfacing artist on the label ran by an industry favorite, Steph started working on his album called Jump It Off. He described the album to be a young man's journey to adulthood with the wide-eyed wonderment of a boy still in awe of his sudden rise to R&B icon status. It was due to release on September 18, 2008. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, that project was Shell. He changed his name to reflect a more mature sound and started to go by the name YS. Working with producers Brian Michael Cox and Rich Harrison, tracks on the album included If You Let Me, if you let me down, I'll you. Filling Myself, <laughs> Take It or Leave It, And radio. Worldwide exclusive from your boy YS. This is actually a joint off my album, Jump It Off. It's called Radio. Remember, this is all you have to do. Turn on your radio. And I'll put your mind that is turn on your radio, girl. His leading single was Professional featuring rapper Mayna, which reached Billboard's number 113 on US RB charts. You are professional, professional. And slow Jukin, which charted Billboard's number 85 US R&B. Oh, 
Young Steph toured all over to promote his singles, appearing on BET's 106 and Park Spotlight. As one of Atlantic Records' Golden Boys, he has had the pleasure of sharing the stage with Trey Songs and Pleasure P. He also performed with T-Pain. Despite the opportunity to being an Atlantic Records recording artist, he found himself in a situation where he was once with, with Rockefeller. Steph decided to step back from Rich Craft and Atlantic and take a break for a while. He took some time and started a family and never stopped honing his skills as a writer and performer. He was given his third opportunity to shine in the music industry when he was signed to Rodney Jerkins' Dark Child label. Although it was a brief situation, Steph took a lot from that and decided at 25 he wanted to become his own boss and became free from contracts. He started YSENT and he released a single called She's My Queen. <laughs> and started learning his way around the indie world. It affords him the luxury to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Steph has been working with multiple independent artists and featured a lot of songs over the years. He has a song with Trick Daddy called Chevy. He has a song with Meek Mill called Gimme More and another song called Light Up a Candle. He's featured on Hollywood Leak, Show Me. When, when I plug it in, you gon' say my name. And also, Thousand Air's sequel, Bands on Me. Bands on me. So many bands on me. And Reed Dollars, Trying to Get It. Independently, he released songs called Never Change. You be on my nerves, but you know that I got you, babe. Break Me Off. Now break me out. And releasing mixtapes like Music's New Hero and Steph Mix Volume 1. In April 2021, he participated in a celebrity boxing match, Young Steph vs. Raz B. He took home the belt. Although he has yet to explode on a major scale, Young Steph has proven with consistency and determination, you can reach your aspirations and it's the key for longevity. Well, that's the story for Young Steph. If you're interested, don't forget to stop by his page and show him some love. Let me know down below, who do you love? Who do you love?